Hi, I'm John Underhill. Welcome to Underhill Creations. In this short video, I'm going to show you the new vertical casting system being offered at ExoticBlanks.com. Now, I shouldn't call it new. This vertical casting system has been around for more than 10 years. Over the past decade, it's been fine-tuned to meet the needs of the caster. Now, I personally use this casting system for all of my tube on and clear casting blanks. Uh, anything that I bring to production has been made through this casting system. So let's take a look. When you purchase your vertical casting system, this is how it's going to arrive. The racks are going to be fully assembled and you're also going to receive a box which is going to have all of the uh, accessories inside that we'll go over in a few minutes. So let's talk about the racks. The racks come in two sizes. You have the 18 hole and you have the 36 hole. The 18 hole was constructed for people that like to use Alumalite. Uh, it is ideal for, uh, for small pours. It's also perfect for the guy that's only making blanks for himself. The 36 hole rack is a little more universal in that it offers you the ability to use more than one type of resin. So if you're going to use Alumalite urethanes, you're probably only going to have a 7 minute unless you're using a, a clear slow. You may have 12 minutes. That's still a lot of blanks to try to pour with just urethane resin. Um, when I'm pouring urethane resin, I usually only fill the outer edge of it. That way, as I pour, I can turn it and access each blank. I don't usually pour more than 18 or 20 at a time because the resin starts to get a little thick and you want to make sure you can get the air bubbles out under pressure. So, I like the full rack when I make my feather blanks because they're cast in polyester resin, a PR resin. Uh, I can pour 36 blanks at one time. Uh, this is very uh, beneficial because it takes a day for the resin to cure anyhow, so this would be ideal for PR or epoxy resins that need longer to cure. You can put more in the, in the tank at one time, and then you can be working on the next batch while they're, while they're curing. The nice thing about these racks, uh, they're, they're being made out of uh, Delrin, uh, a high-density uh, plastic that resin won't stick to. So if you have any over pours, anything that seeps on your rack, uh, after it dries, it will peel right off. Uh, another advantage is it's a very simple assembly and it will come just like this already assembled. But if you need to clean your rack, if you get resin down inside of the bottom here, the bottom screw comes out and the handle twists off. And this then will allow you to remove the bottom tier and get to the flat plastic piece that you'll be able to peel the resin off, reassemble, and be back in business. Now because these are uh, machined CNC, they're very accurate and precise. When you look at this, if you take this apart, no matter how you put this back together, your holes are always going to line up between the top and the bottom so that there's no worry about put, spending all your time putting it together wrong. It's virtually impossible to reassemble this improperly. Now how this works, you're going to construct your tubes and they're going to sit right inside. So this is going to hold your tubes secure and it's going to allow you to pour your resin. Alright, let's look at the box. Inside the box, the first thing you're going to notice, you're going to receive clear casting tubes. And these tubes are a 7 8 hole, which means you're going to be able to cast every pen tube size from the smallest to the largest that they make without changing your setup. You can either take these tubes and cut them in half to get color casts like this uh, or you can cut them in thirds and that will give you a tube long enough, three tubes long enough to cast the ears. Now to cut these you're going to simply use your scissors and cut the tubes. The next accessory are the silicone heat resistant tapered plugs. These tapered plugs will go into your brass pen tube and they will give you an airtight seal so that the resin doesn't get inside of the tubes while you're casting. The plugs that you're going to receive with the starter kit are going to fit the Sierra because it's the most common being used. Uh, they'll also work in the cigar and the Zen size uh, pen tubes. Along with this size tube Exotic Blinks also carries three other sizes that will fit every pen brass tube out there. So 
There's no limit to what pen kit you can cast. Next, you're going to have Delrin bases, and if you purchase the 18 rack, then you're going to have 18 of these. If you purchase the 36, you're going to have 36 of everything. So these Delrin bases are basically uh, made of Delrin with a spike in the center and a round over. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to set up your casting tube to where the bottom of the, the silicone plug on the bottom is held center inside your, your base. So that way you've got a nice even pour all the way around it. Another accessory are the, the top coils. Now these coils, they help secure your brass tube inside by holding the top of that pen blank uh, or pen tube in the center of your tube. Uh, it just allows you to keep them from wandering around. You don't want them leaning to one edge because you're not going to have enough thickness with your bushing. So this allows you to position the tube to stay upright inside of your casting tube. Now the nice thing about this system is uh, these wires don't take up a lot of room on top. So this is an advantage. You don't want something that's going to fill the inside hole to hold that tube upright because you need to get resin inside. So this wire being small allows you to pour your resin in as quickly as possible without any obstruction. And it also allows air to be removed. The last accessory are caps. And these caps fit the bottom of these casting tubes. And they're ideal for color casts. So you put the cap inside. They're reusable. So after you use them, they'll pull out. You'll be able to use this blank, cut it to where you need it, drill it, take that cap for the next one and, and cap it in to pour again. So here's an example of what you'll be able to do with this casting system. Uh, you'll be able to cast from the largest tubes down to the smallest tubes on the market today. Uh, there are four different tapered plugs available all at exoticblanks.com. You'll be able to use this vertical casting rack to cast anything you want out there on a pen tube uh, without changing your setup. You'll use the same Delrin bases, you'll use the same rack, the same coil, the same casting tube. The only thing you'll have to change is the size of your tapered plugs. So that's the vertical casting system. I hope it's answered all of your questions and given you plenty of information to start your casting journey. For more parts and accessories, check with exoticblanks.com. And I'm John Underhill saying thank you and I welcome all your feedback.